Hello guys, welcome to Photoshop Tutorials. Subscribe to our channel for regular updates. The source files are given as a link in the description below. Select the background layer and click on Ctrl-R Command-J to duplicate a layer. Now click on Ctrl-R Command-Shift-A to open Camera Raw so we have to perform some basic exposure adjustments. The main thing you have to do in Camera Raw is to cut the shadows and decrease the highlights to bring down all the overexposed areas. I'm decreasing the exposure a bit since the skin is exposed. The main objective of adjusting the basic settings is to make the picture look like an even light portrait. Moving on to HSL adjustments. Here you can find three tabs. Hues, Saturation, Luminance. By adjusting the hues, you can see the color changes happening on the subject or in the background, this is done just to pop up the background colors mostly. In saturation you can increase the vibrance of every single color in this picture. By adjusting the luminance, you can darken or lighten the color available in the picture. Hit on OK once you're done. Let's tone up the skin. Open a new selective colors adjustment layer. Adjusting the reds and yellows to tone up the skin. And click on controller command I to invert the layer mask and brush out the subject. Now, we're gonna perform frequency separation technique. This technique makes the skin smooth without losing its texture. Okay, let's get into it. Select heal layer and click controller command J two times to create two duplicate layers. So we need two copy layers for this technique. Name one layer as blur and another one as texture. Keep the texture layer on top and blur layer below that. Off the texture layer. Click on blur layer, go to filter. Blur. Gaussian Blur. 10 points of blur recommended approximately. See that you blur the texture of the skin. Hit on OK once you're done. Now switch on the texture layer by clicking on the eye icon and select the texture layer. Go to Image. Apply Image. On the dialog box, select the layer as Blur. Channel RGB is default. Turn the blending mode to subtract. Opacity 100%, scale 2. Offset 128. Please see that these settings are same as mine. This is like a kind of a formula. Hit on OK once you're done. Turn the gray layer blending mode to linear light. Click on blur layer. We are about to brush on blur layer. Right click on the brush tool and select mixer brush. Keep the brush settings as same as mine. Click on alt to select the heal area. See that the source area and the area where you brush must be in same color. Start brushing gently on the skin. If overdone, the picture might look odd, so see that you brush smoothly. Okay, this is fine. The skin might look flat now, don't worry about that we can correct that by dodging and burning. We have completed the frequency separation technique.
Select both the layers, Texture and Blur, and click on Ctrl G to group them together. Now let's do some local dodge and burn. Open a new layer, click on Shift, F5. On the dialog box select Contents option and click on 50% Gray, Blending Mode Normal and Opacity 100%. Hit on OK. Turn the gray layer blending mode to soft light. Select the brush tool, masking colors black and white. Brush setting opacity 100%, flow 1% or changeable accordingly. Now select white and start dodging the subject. Only highlight the areas where you see lights on the subject. Once you're done with the dodge, select black and start burning, burn only the areas where you see shadows. A tip for the beginners. If you're in the starting stage of learning to dodge and burn, you can use two gray layers, one for dodge and one for burn. If you're a pro then you can go with a single layer. See that you cover all the areas in a subject. The more time you take the more effective output you will get. Ok let me speed up this process. Ok guys we are done with the local dodge and burn. Let's add some blush to the subject. Open a new layer and change the blending mode to soft light. Select the brush tool and choose red color from the color palette. Brush setting, opacity 100%, flow 1% or changeable accordingly. Start brushing on the nose and on the cheeks gently, if overdone, decrease the opacity to look natural. Ok this is fine. Let's tone up the overall image. Open a new channel mixer adjustment layer. Keeping the output channel as red and adjusting the bars. I'm trying for a blue kind of feel. Ok let's go with this. Let's boost up the eye colors. Opening a new levels adjustment layer. And let's play with the colors. Ok this is fine let's layer mask it. Click on controller command I to invert the layer mask and start brushing the eyes. See that the pupil remains black. Let's brush her t-shirt as well since it's the same yellow.
let's change the blending mode to color. Decreasing the opacity to make it natural. Let's boost up her hair color. Open a new layer and change the blending mode to soft light. Select red color from the color palette. Brush setting, opacity 100%, flow 10% approximately. Start brushing gently on her hair where you see reds. Let's remove the split hairs and bring it to shape. Click on the frequency separation group. Click on controller command J. To duplicate that group and click on controller command E. To merge the group. So that we always keep a copy of what we did. Now select the brush tool and select the color using an eyedropper tool. Since this is a single color, we can brush it out or else, we have to use clone tool. OK this is fine. Now let's fill this gap. Click on the clone stamp tool and clone the hair gaps. OK this is fine. Let's add some contrast feel to the image. For that we have to darken the image a bit. Open a new levels adjustment layer and increase the shadows. By moving the center point to the right. Decreasing the opacity to make it natural. Let's move on to the final image tone boosting process. Select the topmost layer and click on Ctrl or Command, Shift, Alt, E to merge all the below layers to form a new layer. Now click on Ctrl or Command, Shift A to open Camera Raw. Let's now boost up the image using Camera Raw. The final color grading plays a major role of fine tuning a picture. Most of the professionals will bring up their personal touch using this final tuning process. OK now let's get into it. Adjusting the basic settings to see whether this will bring up something better. Moving on to curves to brighten the highlights and increasing the shadows to form a depth. Let's go to split toning which creates the final tone of the image. OK this is fine for me. Click on the radial filter and make a circle around the subject. This will create a depth around the subject by making the background darker. We can adjust the darkness from basic settings as needed. OK this is fine. We've come to the end of this tutorial, if you have any doubts you can ask them on the comments section below. Hope this tutorial was useful, hit on the like button if you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for regular updates.